What we found was that there certainly was an increase over the years that we studied. The most recent year we studied was 2009-2010 because that's the most recent year for which we have serum Medicare data. And what we found was that there was a steady increase in the utilization of hypofractionated radiation therapy for the treatment of invasive uh, breast cancer. Um, but what we also saw was that it wasn't all that common. So even in the most recent year for which we have data, 2009-2010, the rate of hypofractionation was only 14%. So we saw that the majority of women who were receiving multiple fraction courses of adjuvant radiation therapy, presumably to the whole breast, um, were receiving more of the standard fractionation than this more efficient um, hypofractionated approach. Um, so we have to speculate why that might be the case. Um, one issue is that evidence was accumulating slowly over time. So there was a Canadian trial that initially published results at the beginning of our study um, that were five-year results, and at the end of our study published its 10-year results. And so it may have been that practitioners were waiting for the 10-year results before really adopting this approach. Certainly when we look at fractionation for breast cancer, we're particularly concerned about late long-term effects of going more quickly with treatment. So certainly that can explain um, some of it. Um, it also may be that um, there are financial incentives involved. Um, unfortunately, um, we have a system that reimburses per treatment fraction, so there's a significant disincentive um, financially to fractionate treatment. I like to believe that that's not um, really what's driving this. I also think that you know we as a profession can be a little bit slow and, and measured in our adoption of evidence, um, but what we found uh, a bit concerning was that we, we saw more rapid adoption of another technique that is a costly technique called intensity modulated radiation therapy over the same time period. Um, not only was it much more frequently utilized, but it's a technique for which we have much less strong evidence, and so that was a, a bit distressing to see.